Personal household items that go missing. Something that everyone loads. Missing car keys, misplaced phones, absent pens, wandering TV remotes. Why do these things happen and keep happening every day? In this documentary, we focus on these issues. We bravely ask the question, why? And we investigate what happens to everyone's items during this unexplained, mysterious phenomena. We were contacted by some angry citizens upset at the amount of socks that go missing every weekend after washing. Meet Linda. Linda is a hard-working contract administrator working for a planning sector of the government. What's wrong, Linda? I'm sick of it. Every week, socks go missing. Please, get to the bottom of it. I need to know what's happening. For our next interview, we cut to the other side of the city. Meet Samuel. Samuel volunteered his time and house to let us investigate and film this story. Samuel, please tell the viewers your problem. Well, it, it's strange really. It's been happening now for as long as I can remember. I'm very neat. I'm a head chef. I'm OCD about my health, my hygiene, and being organized. Everything needs to be working in sync and in time, but despite my methods, I always have one, always have one blasted sock that goes missing every week. My washing machine is new. No holes. My washing basket is new. My backyard is fenced. I'm stumped. I don't understand. I don't know where they go. I just... This is very strange indeed. The producers of this program have located a witness that is willing to talk to us about what happens. Let's switch over to hopefully solve this mystery. Sock, thank you for joining us. I take it you are Samuel Sock? The name is Frank actually, and you're welcome. Frank, how long have you been Samuel Sock? Two years now. How many times have you ever gone missing? Almost every time I've been washed. Perhaps 30, 40 times maybe. Can you account for your whereabouts during these instances? Where do you go? Can you please help us understand exactly what happens during these instances and how do you return? Well, it's very interesting. I sleep into another dimension. Come again? Yeah. Just before the washing starts, I open a wormhole and jump in. How do you do this? Most objects around the house have this amazing ability to escape reality for hours. Socks, TV remote controls, mobile phones and keys. We can all do this. When do you come back? Whenever we want. We like to keep our owners on their toes. We usually turn them back in the sock drawer, all clean and waiting there like nothing happened. All for fun. That's really mean. It is what it is, you know. I'm just a sock. I need entertainment. Sometimes I just need to get away from it all. So you just take off anytime you simply please? Uh, yeah. Well, sometimes just to get away from the stress. Whenever I'm bored, upset, mad, and hurt, whatever. We have feelings too, you know. 
But why do you do this? What started it and why do you put your owner through the torture? Well, I'm a left sock. Just, just look at the f stitching. I don't want to go with the right foot. Sometimes this guy doesn't see it. He, put me, he puts me on his right foot and, and expects me to be okay with that. So after he does it, I teach him a lesson. So in other words, you're a jerk. A what? Well, that's a bit much. Hey, uh, I gotta go. I got better things to do, okay? Well, there you have it, folks. The real reason our objects always go missing is because, simply put, they're all jerks. It seems we've managed to solve this timeless mystery. Asshole items. Who would have thought? This has been another documentary explaining the unexplained with your host, Simon Says. Thanks for watching. Oh, bitch.